So the Ares program is a way for people on the ground to get in touch with the astronauts on orbit in the space station through a ham radio. If someone wants to be an astronaut when they grow up, what should they be doing now as a kid to prepare? Over. You know, that is a great question. Uh, there are three things you could do. One is study and work really hard in school. The second is set big goals for yourself because they'll motivate you and excite you. And the third thing is always play nice with others. You have a chance to talk to people all over the planet using ARIS, you know, the amateur radio board, the International Space Station. You, uh, I mean, you can look down and say, oh, there's Australia, and you pick up, you know, and you CQ, CQ, and there's somebody out there, and, and uh, they answer, and you, and you meet a new friend. The ARIS program is important because it, I think, teaches, especially kids, a technology in communication. It also teaches them about timing. It teaches them about uh, the um, position of an object in space with respect to where they are on the Earth. I think it's a great educational tool as well as a way to communicate uh, with people in space. Science, technology, engineering, and math, that's what really makes a space station fly. So if you can imagine a kid who gets a chance to talk to somebody aboard that space station as it whips on by at 17,000 miles an hour, then you know I, I think it's going to capture their interest. I think a thousand contacts is an incredible milestone for NASA and namely the students who, uh, they're the ones that achieved this. They're the ones that made the contact with NASA. We just provided the platform for them to do it. And if you think about these kids being the ones that are the future of space exploration, the future of NASA and all of our space programs around the world, they are learning at such an early age um, how to overcome this barrier, this challenge we have of communicating with others in space. And what a great start. And to reach a thousand, uh, you know, I think it's just motivating. A thousand contacts. Who would have ever thought? That means a thousand times we've had a chance to, to reach down to planet Earth and make contact and to inspire the next generation of explorers. So I congratulate the ARIS program. I congratulate amateur radio enthusiasts all over this beautiful planet for supporting these contacts, a thousand of them. Who would have ever guessed that we'd have so many? Congratulations. The ARIS program is a very good way to involve little kids and students in the space program because it lets them have a very real touch, a very personal uh, contact with the world of, of human spaceflight. Um, in, I can only imagine if I, as a student, had the chance to talk through a radio to an actual astronaut in orbit, I would have been very excited. Now, I was very excited already because of my, my passions, but this is an excellent way to get uh, students and kids involved in science, in technology, in engineering and math, because it shows them what we can achieve 